Now let's retract our landing legs and do some science. And turn the RCS off and go into docking mode. Um, okay, let's take those brakes off. So the reason I have decided to uh, decommission the station, uh, or one of the reasons is that it's it's obviously not that productive anymore. Um, it's just kind of sitting up there. It's got Jebediah and a couple more Kerbals in there that you can't see because of the um, because of the science module and there's no IVA view for that yet. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not getting me very much science. I did set it up before the 0.23 update, um, which I th well they said you know oh we're gonna oh that's good. Um, we're gonna make you know long-term missions more useful, which is good, yes, but not as good as I thought it might be because oh, that's quite a lot. Um, it it didn't really count for rovers. Of course, there's no uh, no atmosphere here. Um, yes, because basically what it means is. You know, having a science module in orbit, a uh, science lab in orbit around a planet, and you know, and going back to it rather than landing on a the surface of a planet and spamming science um, is is more rewarding. So, yeah, this little rover it's not that useful down here anymore. <coughs> Short of this little skit, I'm sure there are a couple more biomes on here where I could collect some more data. Obviously negative uh, gravioli particle detector here might yield something new but I didn't have it at the time of creating this rover. Um, so yeah, I think we should probably take off again. So let's just slow ourselves down with our brakes. Uh, slow ourselves down slowly so that we don't kick over forwards with the deceleration. I don't think we should anyway. Yeah, nearly did there though, so we might have done. Let's fold this solar panel on uh, in just for um, posterity. And we can go back and turn our SAS on. So now, now brakes on, and we'll, we'll put our landing gear out because the wheels probably aren't the best thing to lift off on. Uh, and I think we should be A-OK -okay for taking off. Right, so we're going to throttle up. And we're going to go this way. Yeah! Alright then. Let's just see what that's put us in. Ooh, that's quite nice actually. So now we need to make a good... Uh, set as target. Yep, we need to make a good burn here to get into some kind of uh, encounter with our space station. Now hopefully if we, we might actually be able to get a close one in here. Oh, very nice. Yes, we'll make that. Yes, please. So, as you can see, it's going to be 15 minutes before we get there. We'll probably want to turn our RCS back on once we get over there. Uh, because that keeps us stable, of course. Of course, when you haven't got much, much mass and you've got a thruster on a rover like this, um, it's a bit tricky. Let's turn the lights off. Save some power. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky to keep yourself pointed in the same direction um, if you don't have very much mass. So let's fast forward to our time, uh, and with a burn time of four seconds, we'll probably want to go about two seconds before, and for two seconds after. Now this is a rather good burn that I can see here. Now we might need to do quite a bit to compensate when we get over there because it's quite a bit off where it should be. Um, the the inclination is a bit off, and it's but it's it's a similar um, similar radius orbit, so it shouldn't be too much work. Mm. 
So moving on towards our node here. Switch back into vehicle view, I guess. I'm not really sure what it's called. Yeah, let's fold these landing legs in. So, like I said, we want to go about two seconds before and just put up to full thrust because the um, I'm pretty sure the manoeuvre nodes do slightly um, overestimate how much you're going to need uh, to obviously allow for throttling up and stuff like that and inconsistencies and mistakes and Anyway, fact is, if we burn in a certain place on the nav ball, we should be just fine. Oh, we're wandering off our mark. That's bad. Let's check. <laughs> Let's check what our encounter's like. It's probably not going to be too good. No. Right, so we need to burn about here, I think. Nope. We need to burn over here. This isn't going so well. Maybe I should put another maneuver node somewhere. I don't like the way it's not really balancing us out here. Ah, now this is bringing us closer. So yeah, this is a bit of a uh, bit of post commentary here. Um, yeah, uh, this took quite a while, so I had to speed it up a bit. Hopefully, making it a bit more entertaining. Um, so yeah, uh, basically lots and lots of pulling around of maneuver nodes lots of just messing around um, incidentally in the end we do get uh, a close enough encounter so that's um, that's pretty good there That's getting closer. So basically, yeah, this is it's just a job of just gradually adjusting orbits and wishful thinking <laughs> inclination, stuff like that. So this is a two second burn. However, we'll probably do it about two seconds before and two seconds after and put it at about half throttle. Throttle? Throttle. Even. I can't speak today. I do apologize. Yeah, this is 45 minutes out. Thankfully, our electricity has gone back up again because we're now on the light side of Minimus. There's a target. So let's fast forward past some of these minutes. <coughs> right out. So let's remember to put our RCS on this time. I was a little bit rushed that last time. RCS on. So we'll go with about two seconds. One, two. Okay, that was a bit too much, but we can probably correct it. We just burn this side a little bit. Oh. There we go. So now we will check our intersect uh, 0.9. So it's a little bit further away than I hoped. Unless we give it a little bit more here, maybe. Maybe we can close it up a bit. No, nope, that's too much. Anyway, you can see this is really sensitive now because we are very close to our target. That's better, 0.2 kilometers. So now we don't really need our thruster anymore because we are really close. We can probably switch to docking mode as well. And now I'm wondering whether I should transmit this data back or not because it's quite valuable. Um, there's quite a lot of it, and we might just want to try and bring this back with us. See, that's what I'm doing with the, the station. Obviously, some of it will be returning. So it might just try to bring the rover back, although it might not survive the landing. Hmm. Remember, it doesn't have any parachutes, and 
I'm not sure how well the craft will do, the refueling craft. Now let's have a look where our insect is. Okay. Oh, that's too fast. Right. So I'm moving slowly towards this node. Okay, so we are actually very, very close to our target's velocity. We've burned into a very similar orbit. So, come to think of it, we will need our thruster a little bit, but only a tiny, tiny bit, because the... Actually, no, we might not. We could basically do this with the monopropellant. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then we can use the monopropellant to get ourselves closer to the station once we've reach this intersect. So let's go into docking mode and we can see the station here. Let's turn our RCS on. Now that is very close there. So we'll just wait till we get a little bit closer. So let's spin ourselves around here. And we'll go back to docking and just burn that relative velocity off. Right. I'm going to turn RCS off to turn around to face the station. That might be a bit tricky actually docking to it, but really it doesn't matter if we knock a couple of solar panels off. <laughs> Um, as long as we don't break the thing apart uh, because we're sending this thing home. Now, all we need to do is thrust towards the station. Get ourselves going. Oh, this actually quite, has quite a lot of um, acceleration because it's so light. So here we are coming up on the station. Now we don't have any lights that point towards it, which might have been an, an idea, and have them uh, uh, be toggled with an action group, but yeah, I didn't think about that. Also gradually running out of electricity, <laughs> because um, the uh, obviously we're on the dark side again. So I will resume um, I'll resume the recording once we are ready to dock, once we're close enough.